Let us now take the fifth model from this topic where we shall take up a very popular question which can be solved using the concept of LCM. Let's look at the question first. The question says find the greatest number of four digits which is exactly divisible by 8, 12, 15, 18 and 20. So here we are required to find out the greatest number of four digits which is exactly divisible by the given set of numbers which includes 8, 12, 15, 18 and 20. We know that the greatest number of four digits is 9999 that is 9999. And as per the question, we are required to find out a number which is less than or equal to 9999, the greatest number of four digits. So it may be equal to 9999 or less than 9999, but it should be divisible by all the given values here. That is 8, 12, 15, 18 and 20. Now before we actually look at finding out the greatest number of four digits, let us first concentrate on the second half of the question, which says a number which is exactly divisible by 8, 12, 15, 18 and 20. So let us not concentrate on the greatest number of four digits. Let us first find out a number which is exactly divisible by all the given numbers. Now how do we get a number which is exactly divisible by all the given values? We have to take the LCM of these values. We are well aware that LCM gives the smallest number which is divisible by all the given numbers. LCM is the least common multiple. So let us first find out the LCM of these values. Now LCM of 8, 12, 15, 18 and 20. Now by following the regular procedure what we have learnt in model 1 we get the LCM of these values as 360. So here 360 is a number which is exactly divisible by 8, 12, 15, 18 and 20. So this is the least common multiple. But as per the given question we are required to find out the greatest number of four digits which is divisible by all the values here. What we have got here is the smallest number which is divisible by all the values. But what is the greatest number of four digits which is divisible by each of these values. From the basics of LCM we know that not only the LCM but all its multiples are also divisible by the given values. For example if 20 is divisible by a certain set of values then all the multiples of 20 like 40, 60, 80, 800, 8000, 4000 are also divisible by the given set of values. So similarly even in this case 360 which is the LCM that means 360 is divisible by the given values. So all the multiples of 360 will also be divisible by the given values here 8, 12, 15, 18 and 20. So to get the required answer here we have to find out a multiple of 360 which is the largest four digit number. Now how do we do that? The simple process here is to first divide 9999 by 360 and find out the remainder. So let us first divide 9999 by 360. So when 360 divides 9999, what is the answer here? We can say it is 2 times 720. So left out is 279. Again this 9 can be taken here. Now 360 into 5 is 1800, 360 into 2 720, 1800 plus 720 2520. So we can say 7 times will be 2520. So what is left out here? 9, 7 and 2, 279. So we see that when 9999, that is the largest 4 digit number is divided by the LCM of these values, the remainder is 279, right? It goes 27 times and the remaining part here is 279. So this is the additional part which is there in 9999. So when we subtract 279 from this value, we get the required answer. So here the required answer can be taken as 9999 minus the remainder 279 which comes out to be 9720. So that is the answer for this question. 9720 is the largest number of four digits which is divisible by 8, 12, 15, 18 and 20. So the simple solution here is first take the LCM of the given values which in our case comes out to be 360. And as we are required to find out the greatest number of four digits we take it as 9999. Now this 9999 when divided by 360 that is the LCM gives us a remainder of 279. So when subtracting 279 from 9999 we get the required answer. The other way of finding out the answer here can be trial and error. That is, we know that 360 is the LCM and now we need to find out a multiple of 360 which is as close as possible to 9999 and it should be less than 9999. 
So what do we do? We randomly try to take different multiples of 360 and try to come as close as possible to 9999. For example, after finding out the LCM as 360, let's take some random multiples. 360 into 20. What is 360 into 20? It is 7200, right? 360 into 2 is 720. So in into 20 will be 7200. But then we see that 7200 is far below 9999. We can go further. So let's take 360 into 30. Now if we take 360 into 30, what is 360 into 30? 36 into 3 is 108. Right, so we get 10,800. 360 into 30 is 10,800. But then 10,800 is greater than 9999. We very well know that the required answer has to be less than or equal to 9999. So this is ruled out. So here we see that 360 into 20, 7200 is much lesser than 9999. Whereas 360 into 30, 10800 is close to 9999. But this cannot be taken as the answer as we are looking for the largest 4 digit number. This is a 5 digit number. So we have to take a multiple of 360 which gives us lesser than 10800. So into 30 is 10800. We should take something less than 30. What is 360 into 28? Let's try 360 into 28. What is 360 into 28? 360 into 28. That is nothing but 10,800 minus 720. Because into 30 is 10,800. When we subtract 360 into 2 from this, we get the value here. So minus 720 will give us 10,000. 10,080 as the answer. Right? 360 into 28 is 10,080. Even this number, though very close to 9,999, is larger than the largest four digit number but we require less than or equal to 9999 so let's take one lesser multiple that is 360 into 27 what is 360 into 27 it will be equal to 9720 nothing but 10080 minus 360 will give us 9720 so this is the largest four digit number which is divisible by all the given values so this way by following trial and error procedure as well we can get the required answer right so the simple solution here is first take the LCM of the given values which comes out to be 360 in our case. Then since we require the largest 4 digit number we divide 9999 by 360 to find out the remainder here. And this remainder when subtracted from 9999 will give us the required answer. Likewise sometimes the question may say find out the largest 5 digit number. In that case a similar procedure has to be applied but instead of taking 9999 we will take 99999 that is the largest 5 digit number. So this is how you can solve a question related to finding out a greatest number of 4 digits or 5 digits which is divisible by a given set of numbers.